hello and welcome to my new series, the One Chunk Build Challenge. Yes, and this is my new build that I just made. This is the cute starter house or hobbit hole. And here I start with a one chunk. Now I actually put some wool around it so I know where I can go and what's the limit. I always like to start with this house with the front. So I pull up a wall that actually stands out from the surroundings but it's not too crazy or too bad. Now I think it's quite tricky because the build is not so big to kind of make a nice entrance but not something that is too big and too overpowered. So I chose here for um, copper, copper stairs, copper slabs and um, trap doors to kind of make it look small but not too small because it's a nice little starter house or you can use this as a starter house. Now, I will place some windows here because I like to have some natural lighting inside my houses. And then it's time to blend it in into this mountain or this hill on the side and that's why I chose this chunk. Because I like to build it in that it kind of flows natural in its surroundings but still has its own little space and its own little things and everything inside what you want from a small little starter house. Now, I chose the moss block here, because I just like it if you bow me it, I like the flowers. And under the moss carpets you can hide like light blocks pretty good. And have some hidden lights so you don't see torches everywhere. Here I try to kind of make it flow with the hill, so that it doesn't look too chunky, it doesn't look too out of space and out of the place. And I just remove and add until I'm happy with the flow and with the shape of the self-made hill. Now, for a little house, I always like to put a chimney with some smoke and that is of course with a campfire and trapdoors around it. I think the smoke makes the uh, build feel alive, that there's actually someone in there, it's not abandoned, it gives some movement and I love that. And for the little pop and just a little more of the blending, I'm gonna use a leaves and this time it is the azalea flowering leaves and the normal leaves from the azalea. And then with mossing uh, the moss bollocks, all the f flowers and all the tall grass will come around and it just blends nicely in. And also the side, I like to blend in a little bit more. So don't be afraid to use some bushes and some leaves and some flowers. Just like to use what you want. Now, I wanted to make like a, a hanging sign, but it was one block out of the chunk, so I removed it and I opted for a smaller light at the front of the house. And then it is time for the inside. I always like to use um, hidden lights on the inside, and in this case it's not that hidden, but it's behind some honey blocks. And it, uh, it dims the light, but it still gives you this nice feeling of a light. I try to use the blocks that I also use on the outside as on the inside. I think it gives you a nice flow, it kind of combines it and it's together. Now I do choose blocks that are far away from each other, so it's white with dark brown with orange and now the green. Because I just love color, I love color, I love to play with color. And that's also why I use many times the bookcases and of course flowers carpets and here it's time for the kitchen now this is a cute little trick I put a campfire under a smoker and it, it, it feels like you're actually baking some nice <laughs> cakes or whatever you want to bake and this is a very cozy but very small bedroom i like to kind of uh, make it an own room but not completely wall it in it gives it like an open space but still it is like a private room and of course you want to change the clothes once in a while so i took an armor stand there now it's time for the outside because i used honey blocks inside and i do like some animals outside i opted for beehives and bee nests so that it is i think it feels nice and this is it this is the first one chunk build challenge and let me know in the comments what i should build next week because the top comment with the most likes that's what i will try to build next week or fail and uh, don't go too crazy okay be nice to me this is the inside as you can see i love colors i love paintings i love hidden lights you can put some light blocks under the carpet to give it uh, maybe even more light if you don't think this is enough now for a starter house, there's quite a lot of storage. I used a lot of barrels, but 
if it's still not enough, you can actually make a room underneath here with a little trapdoor as a secret entrance and have the, all your storage and all your stuff you want to hide for all the players or for anyone else. I really hope you like this. This is a new series. Let me know what you think and let me know what I should build. Thank you for watching. Give me a like and subscribe. And I see you next week. Have a lovely day. Bye bye. Now the video that pops up here now is for my other series. It's from the Xari Craft SMP. If you like my content, maybe give it a give it a try. It is completely different, but I also love to build there.